We are showing you the money, helping you find a well-paying career right here in Alaska on this Workforce Wednesday. This week, we focus on a profession that may sound somewhat new to you. Millwrights, a career requiring precision work on the equipment that keeps Alaska's industries running. Here to tell us where you can get training, who's hiring, and how much it pays. Carrie Ann Carty with the Alaska Process Industry Careers Consortium and Sherry Miller and Dennis Eastman with Prince William Sound College. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Dennis, let's start with you. A lot of people might have not heard of mill, a millwright, including James and I. Uh, help us out. What does a millwright do? Uh, millwright is a precision industrial mechanic. Uh, we work on rotating equipment such as compressors, turbines, that type of uh, heavy industrial equipment. So based on that description, it sounds like millwrights work across all sectors then of, of Alaska's industries. Would that be safe to say, Carrie Ann? Yeah, that's true. Uh, all of the industries that APEC partners with, from seafood processing to mining to oil and gas, really need these skilled people that can install and maintain precision equipment. Um, and the Alaska Department of Labor uh, statistics show that about half of the millwrights in the state of Alaska are non-resident employees. So that really spells a lot of opportunity for training and occupational um, hires here in the state of Alaska for Alaskans. So training is the key word yes. in that sentence and that's where Prince William Sound College comes in. Sherry, what kind of training do you offer? So in Valdez, we actually have the only college campus that offers millwright training in the state of Alaska. We have two pathways that students can follow, but both of them are focused on the National Center for Construction, Education and Research curriculum, NCCER. They're a nationally recognized curriculum provider. Um, Students can take the five millwright modules with Dennis and do an internship and earn an occupational endorsement certificate. Or they can continue on with their studies, take general education requirement classes, learn the math, reading, writing, and communication skills that employers are looking for in order to advance in their careers to the supervisory and managerial levels. And with that, they would earn an Associates of Applied Science. So always good to have skills that might translate into other fields, just in case, who knows? So a person training as a millwright, uh, what other types of job might that training then allow them to get, Dennis? Um, power plant operators, for instance, rotating equipment, uh, working and installing the turbines we talked about, uh, turbines, uh, compressors, pumps, things used in industrial parts, uh, our fish processing industry, conveyance systems where we're uh, conveying any type of industrial material. Dennis, as a millwright, what do you love about your career? <laughs> it's continually changing with today's technology would be the thing. Uh, it's ad continually advancing because of it. And I like that part because it's you never completely master the trade. Always learning something new. Always learning something new. So Sherry, former students of, of Prince William Sound College, uh, where are they working now and what kind of a, a salary are they making and, and can future millwrights potentially expect? So we have students placed with companies across Alaska making anywhere from seventy to $120,000 a year, so not bad for a starting wage. Um, <laughs> 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 wish I was making that. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're, uh, and they are, they're in companies right now with uh, places like Pogo Mine, uh, Alaska Pipeline Service Company, Rotating Equipment, and Petrostar Refineries in Valdez. So we know the pay. Carrie Ann, who's hiring right now in Alaska? Well, folks who are interested in becoming a millwright really just need to do a little bit of homework and research. Um, uh, go to the Pogo Mine website, um, uh, Alaska Miners Association website, and for training, look at the Prince William Sound College website. And of course, you can always call Martha and she can help you out. All right. There you go. Martha Peck's info on your screen, Martha at APIC.org. Carrie Ann, Sherry, Dennis, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Brave in the cold Wednesday. out there this <laughs> morning. Oh, yeah. oh. It's frigid. <laughs>